Here are tomorrow's front pages. And let's start with the Sunday Telegraph. PM's plan for seven nuclear stations, new development vehicle, will slash planning red tape to increase Britain's energy self-reliance. What's not to like? Russians, meanwhile, are booby-trapping corpses and homes as that awful war takes an even darker hue. The Independent next. Refugees welcome. Ministers urged to axe needless bureaucracy. The Observer, Tories fear poll disaster over high taxes and Russians used children as human shields near Kyiv. The Sunday Mirror now, Tory U-turn after outcry. Hypocrite Rob failed to stop baby P mum's release. The Sunday Times now, bodies of mutilated children among the horrors the Russians left behind. A difficult headline to read out, let alone process. Tory MP suspended after sex and cocaine claims. I'll be discussing that with my comedian guests shortly. Sunday Express sees back stolen billions to cut tax. With £37 billion lost to the pandemic's theme park for fraudsters, calls grow to take the money back and ease the cost of living crisis. Good luck with that one. And the Daily Star Sunday, crime exclusive. Swipe right for a monster. Baby P's mum is on a dating app. And those are your front pages.